Hey, hey Capricorn, Intuitive Soul Coach here with your October 2024 bonus reading. Welcome back to my channel if you're returning and welcome if you're new. If you're interested in a personal reading, signing up for the monthly newsletter, or entering into the free reading giveaway, you can find all of that information in the description box below the video. All right, Capricorn, welcome. In today's bonus reading, we'll be looking at advice from your future self. Bottom of the deck, we have body love. Some of you are connecting or wanting to connect with your body more. I feel like your future self is saying pay attention to your body. This means your aches, your pains. This could be, you know, where you feel good, the time time of day where you feel the best. What gets your, your blood pumping? Are you exercising? Are you eating healthy? Now with the body love card, some of you may have even struggled with body image. It says move your body because you love it, not because you're trying to punish it. So for some of you Capricorn, there is a message coming in around disassociating or disconnecting from the body. And this is such a significant thing for an earth sign because you are very much needing to ground uh, in your body and in the world around you. So if you have disconnected or if this has been something that has been an ongoing struggle for you, I feel you really addressing this in the month of October because your future self is saying here, you are a big deal. There's something quite significant shifting internally for you. It says eat higher vibrational foods because that feels more like freedom than eating foods that make you heavy. Same goes for, you know, beverages and the people that you surround yourself with because I feel like you are sensitive. Your body is becoming more sensitive to the energies around you and the foods that you are ingesting. You may be into nutrition. For others of you, you could be discovering new things about your body. You may be looking in the mirror and saying, wow, I don't look the way that I did or that's not working the way that it used to. But I feel like you're going through these emotions. And remember, Capricorn, emotions are like visitors. They come and go. And it says emotions are energy in motion. When we suppress them, they get stuck in our body. They show up as physical pain. And perhaps that's the reason why you have this body talk card showing up is because there may be something that you have suppressed, something you've held back or kept in. Allow yourself to feel the feelings even if it feels uncomfortable because it won't last forever. And Capricorn, you've been going through it. If you've been following me for a bit or even if you're new, there's been a little bit of a roller coaster for Capricorn over the last few years and you've gone through some stuff, I tell you, but I've been feeling this energy for quite some time of a new profound beginning bubbling up for a lot of you. This could be a big move. This may be the start of a, a career shift. It could be business or entrepreneurship. It could be you really stepping into your body more so now than you ever have and really taking care of yourself or your needs or your even your wants. And it does not surprise me at all to see that your first card out here is the fool. This is your present energy is the fool. I'm not saying anyone's a fool or you've been acting foolish, but I feel like you are tired. Some of you are tired. You want to rest. You're wanting a nap. And you're like, I just want to have a beginning where I don't feel like I, I'm carrying a million things on my shoulders. Ten of Wands energy. And I feel like this is the month where you're bringing balance into your life by taking a look at all of these things that are showing up in your physical world because you've been doing the work emotionally and inside, right? So internally, you have been doing a lot of work on yourself over the, the last few years, some of you the last decade. I mean, we're always working on ourselves. But if you've been going through some stuff, I feel like October and November into Capricorn season, December, is going to present new beginnings externally. And this may be what you've really been wanting and working for. 
Uh, now it says here with the emotions, allow yourself to feel the feelings, even if it feels uncomfortable, because your future self is saying it's not going to last forever. I promise, right? Feel it to heal it. So if you are going through the motions, they are visitors and they may be here and sometimes they feel like they're unwelcomed, right? Sometimes you're not ready for that visitor to, to knock on the door because your hair is still messy. You're still in your PJs and you don't feel put together. But I feel like you don't have to right now. You don't have to feel like you're all put together because you do have this new beginning coming in here. And it's important to feel what you're feeling without judgment. It's important not to judge yourself and say, well, I shouldn't... Uh, I shouldn't, I don't have anything to offer. I feel like someone feels like they don't have anything to offer. So going back to the visitor analogy, it's like someone knocking on your door and you open it up and you're like, oh my gosh, you're immediately judging the way you look, the way your house looks. And then you go to open up the, the refrigerator and you're like, oh my gosh, I didn't go shopping. I don't have anything to offer. And for some of you, this is bone deep. You're, you're tired. And I feel like there is judgment or criticism in some way here. But Spirit is saying, allow those feelings, those people that are entering your world or the emotions that are coming in, they don't care about what we look like, right? Or what, what's in our fridge or anything of that nature. So be mindful. Be mindful of what's going on and try not to suppress it. Try not to numb it, drink it away, eat it away, work it away. Some of you are workaholics. Or some of you have focused so much time and energy and effort on your, your finances, your craft, your home, maybe taking care of others that you feel drained. That may be one of the emotions. But I get with the Fool card, you're being reminded something very important. And what is that? That you are a big deal. Capricorn, you can step fully into your divinity, your divine power. We often don't give ourselves enough credit, right? You are amazing. You are a big deal. That is what your higher self and your future self is saying. So you know all that hard work, right? All that hard work, that exhaustion, that anger, that sadness, that sorrow, all of those feelings, including the excitement and the momentum building, because you're going to have this wide range of emotions, highs and lows. I feel like you're getting the credit here. That's what this new beginning is all about. It says you will get the credit you deserve. That's what they're highlighting on this card. It says walk into the room and fully own it. Own this day. How can you make this day yours? Because you are a big deal. Now, starting off the present self, you're ready to take perhaps some sort of a leap. Okay, leap of faith here. You're ready for a new beginning. I feel like you have been ready, but I am getting a little bit of start and go, or there's been a delayed start towards a beginning, or it just feels like you thought everything was moving smoothly, moving forward, and then boom, you know, that, that, red light comes in out of the blue. It's like when you start to get up to that green light and everything's going smooth and then right before you hit that that light, it turns again and you're like, man, I have to stop and I've been already sitting here waiting for this to go through. It feels like after, like third time's a charm is what I'm getting. Third time's a charm. Maybe you've applied for something. Maybe this is a job position. It could be a visa. Maybe it's a passport, some sort of documentation, Capricorn. Thank you, Spirit. I'm getting the name Kali or Kali could be significant here. Take that as it resonates or even Molly. Okay. Um, but I do feel like if this is an exam, if this is an interview, something that you have applied for, wanted, gone for, it almost feels like third time's a charm. And some of you are saying, Mel, this is my 67th time, right? And, and I haven't received the offer or it's, there's been 67 delays. That's interesting that that's the number coming in. Some of you could be 67 years old, uh, but I am getting with this fool. This is an exciting curiosity that you are meant to explore. This is self-discovery and potential. This is your soul self. When Alice goes down the rabbit hole, she doesn't have anything with her. She doesn't have a suitcase, right? She doesn't have a suitcase to, to kind of get into character. I feel like you're going with what you got here and it's going to be liberating. It's going to be free. 
freeing for you. Let's look at your future self, Capricorn. Justice. Yes. Justice. Some of you may have been wrongfully accused or you have been released or let go or even treated unfairly or poorly in a situation. And I feel like there's going to be justice. There's a rebalancing of the scales here. And all that hard work, some of you may have even been saying, when is it going to be my time, right? When is it my time to shine? Well, you are a big deal. You are a big deal. And I feel like this is the time here. Future self wants you to know that this, perhaps this Libran season, which we are in Libra energy, the ruler of the justice here. This Libran season is rebalancing, realigning your energies where, like I said in the beginning, you've been doing the work internally, but it feels like externally, not a lot of movement or changes have been happening. This is the time where you start to see that alignment. You start to see that your inner world matches your outer world here. And that the new beginning that you've wanted, you're facing, you're facing something here. I want to just clarify, what are we facing with the justice? Because I feel like some of you, it's, it's a legal situation. It could have to do with legalities, maybe a divorce. It could be a marriage for some of you with the fool. It could be contracts regarding um, new ownership or new citizenship. Oh, wow. Look at that. King of Swords. King of Swords. So a lot of you, maybe you even work in the legal field. Legal secretary, lawyers could be involved here. Uh, I feel like... If this isn't a legal situation, some of you have broken or ended a karmic cycle. And this makes complete sense. You know why, Capricorn? Because for the last 16 years, Pluto has been wreaking some havoc in Capricorn. And it's this month, October, that that is being released. So if you, you think back to 2008, what was going on in your life at this that time, there may have been some karmic connections or karmic relationships or experiences that you had gone through. And this is the, the time where it's rebalanced. There's a rebalancing here. And I feel like it's going to feel good. Both of these cards, look at how interesting this is. The Justice and the King of Swords are both holding some scales. Some of you could live in New York. I'm getting Lady Liberty here. Right away when I looked at that, Lady Liberty, so maybe New York is significant. But both of these cards show scales being held up and they're balanced. And that's not always the case in these cards, but both of them, two different decks, the scales are balanced. So there is a rebalancing taking place. That's what your future self wants you to know. But let's look at this current situation. What is going on currently for you, Capricorn? All right, there's been a fall from grace. There has been possibly four of wands in reverse. Four of wands in reverse says there's been lack of cooperation, lack of harmony, lack of support. When we hit up Munchkin Land, right? Munchkin Land is full of smiles, full of happiness. Look at all of them together. They're excited that there was... You know, there's a new person that's entered Munchkin Land, Dorothy, right? Dorothy has crunched the Wicked Witch and it's it, she's done them a favor, right? But it almost feels like you've done other people favors, but instead of them being happy for you, instead of them saying, Capricorn, thank you so much for, you know, all your hard work. And, and yes, maybe some of it was unexpected or maybe some of it was unintentional, but I feel like you didn't get the appreciation and the respect that you would have liked to for coming in and making such a big difference in your job, in your relationships, you know, in your, some of you, this has to do with medical help or legal help. And I feel like it's been a struggle with this four of wands in reverse to find that stability because you're like, where's my tribe? Where's my people? Why, why isn't there cooperation? Why isn't there support? And I feel like if there was 
a legal situation that you are going through, or if this is, you know, justice can certainly be retribution. I feel like there's retribution here or evidence, some sort of evidence. Someone may also be taking accountability here. I am getting uh, accountability being taken, or if that hasn't been the case, you will have this new beginning and there will be karma, there will be retribution, but you're not going to be around to see it. You don't need to be around to see it. Just trust that that's one of the universal laws, the law of karma, the law of cause and effect. You don't have to be around to see it, okay? Because you're jumping into this new beginning and I feel like there is some sort of justice playing out here. Now let's take a look at what to spend less time on. What do we need to spend less time on for Capricorn? What do we need to focus less on? The past, maybe a past life connection, soulmate. This could be a karmic partnership. Some of you are in Six of Cups in reverse. I'm also getting, try not to romanticize the past for some of you. We tend to romanticize if we step out of a job or step out of a relationship and then we go through that period of healing and then when we feel like we're moving ahead, that's when we maybe self-sabotage or take a step back or look over our shoulder and say, wait a second, maybe that wasn't as bad. Maybe I could go back to that past person and things would be different or maybe that past job was better. Just because you're not seeing something here, which trust me, it's coming in. You have the fool. Just because we don't see a new beginning doesn't mean you should go back to the, the past, okay? And sometimes that's difficult. Sometimes we do go back to it because we still have lessons to learn. But in this case, you have the justice showing up here as advice from your future self in the upright position saying, no, my darling, you've balanced it out. You've balanced these scales. If someone didn't appreciate you then, they're sure as hell not gonna appreciate you now. And... There's lessons to be learned within that. It almost feels like for some of you, maybe this is how another individual feels. Maybe they, you know, we always want sometimes what we can't have or you don't realize what you had until it's gone. So if someone else is saying, wait a second, come back here, Capricorn. I think I want you now. We have to really ask ourselves, do we want to go back into that situation is this going to be something balanced? And remember that actions speak louder than words, but consistency speaks louder than action and words. Okay, remember that. Because someone can talk and talk and talk. People are smooth talkers, right? Someone have someone has the communication gap here that really can, can woo you in. But I'm also getting here, someone doesn't always follow up with their actions, but... They may for a week, for a month, but it has to be consistent. And if that's something you've tried in the past and it keeps falling short, what are we doing? And so I feel like spend spend less time on buying, buying affection, buying friendship, romanticizing the past, living in difficulty with childhood. Some of you, it's like childhood stuff keeps coming up over and over for you. And now I'm a, a big fan of coaching and help and therapy and things of that nature. But sometimes the difference between, for me, therapy and coaching, therapy really puts you back into the past, right? Past energies, which can be helpful. We need to understand and learn the past to be able to move forward. But coaching is also about saying, okay, this is the piece that we, we need. Now, how do we move forward? And I feel like the message for you here is saying, you understand something. You know what kind of a childhood you had, right? You know what kind of a past you had. You are brilliant. You are educated. You are smart. And you have the emotional capacity and wisdom to take accountability and move forward here. And that's what I see you doing. But let's see what we should spend more time on. Yeah, <laughs> spend more time on Five of Cups. Letting go of the past pain. This is in reverse here. So it's when it's in reverse, it says letting go of the past pain because hope is emerging. You've allowed yourself to grieve. There's been a grieving process here. I see the emotions. I see that someone has wronged you or not heard you, not appreciated you, not accepted you potentially from the past. 
And we're really focusing on telling ourselves that story, the story that we're not enough, the story that we don't have support or, you know, whatever stories we tend to continue playing out over and over again, but it doesn't have anything to do with the new beginning. It's the old spirit says, focus more time on the new beginning. Your future self wants you to focus on, and your present self wants you to focus on a new beginning and bringing balance and harmony into your life because that's what this Libran season is all about. Now, you have the Five of Cups and Six of Cups here. This is what to spend, you know, spend less time on and spend more time on is... Letting go of past connections and unhealthy past attachments is basically what I'm getting. Unhealthy past attachments. Focus on moving forward, taking what you've learned from the past and using that to move forward here in the beginning. Because remember what I said in the beginning of your reading about that heavy baggage? If we don't do this, you're going to take it into this new beginning with you and you may see a repeat cycle. Let's take a look at what to remember. What do we need to remember at this time? Oh, Spirit is pointing here to this card that we've already read. Remember that you are a big deal, that you are stepping fully into your divine power. I mean, quite literally, the fool, she's taken a step there. And some of you may be fearful to take a step because you're like, well, what if I go down the rabbit hole? What if I get lost? Alice has a wonderful time when she's, chasing her curiosities, doesn't she? Yes, it can be scary, but she learns so much about herself. I feel like you are meant to fully own your power. You are a big deal. And I'm also getting here, soul, yes. Right? What do you need to remember? When we say yes to everything, we run ourselves empty. When you say yes to something, make it a soul, yes. Begin to develop a practice of saying yes to the life that feels amazing to you. You will begin to build up confidence and self-empowerment. This means, Capricorn, that you're also going to need to say no to things that no longer align with you. Okay, so remember that you are a big deal. Remember to say yes when it's a soul yes. And remember that you're not alone. Yes, there has been separation there has been distance there has been disconnection there has been friendships that have come and gone lovers that have come and gone family squabbles you know there's been important partnerships that are that have been sabotaged is what i'm getting but it's important to not shut yourself down it's important to take care of yourself and show up in the energy that you wish to attract. Show up in the energy that you wish to attract. Be your own soul mate. Be your own best friend. Be your own lover. You know, when you start to act in a higher frequency, you will attract it. And some of you, I am getting, remember who you are outside of a relationship. If you are currently involved with someone, maybe there's been codependency overlaps. Maybe if this is a business partnership, you lost yourself somewhere along the way. You lost yourself to some sort of roles, human roles that you've taken on. But remember when the, the curtain closes, that you go back behind the scenes, that's your true you. You're not wearing that mask anymore. You're not wearing that costume. You're not playing that role. So why does it feel like when we, when the cloten, uh, cloten, <laughs> the, the curtain closes that we're still playing a role here and spirit says it's okay to show up fully yourself and be independently authentic. All right. Let's take a look here at what to let go of. Let go of the guilt. Say no when it feels like a, a complete no. Remember, that's a sentence. No is a sentence. Some of you are people pleasers or you feel like you have to get it all done. Oh, okay. Thank you, Spirit. Those are for the future. Thank you. So what do we need to let go of? Now, this is interesting. We do have the Nine of Cups in reverse. Nine of Cups in reverse is dissatisfaction. There's a belief or a thought 
that you may have that is telling you that you cannot have a dream. The nine of cups is a dream. It is wishes granted, feeling content. It's emotional fulfillment. It's satisfaction. It's accomplishment. And I feel because of other people, because remember on this four of wands in reverse, the current situation, because of some munchkins in your land that told you Capricorn, you're not good enough. You're not worthy enough. You're not a, B, or C, or maybe these munchkins are in your mind. Maybe it can be the little voices in your head sometimes that tell you things that aren't true. Now, the Nine of Cups is saying, let go of the things that distract you from your dreams, including beliefs, including limitations. And I am getting guilt. Some of you, guilt is a big thing. And emotionally, you may feel tethered or tied to a person and you feel indebted to them. You feel like you owe it to them. You feel bonded to them in some way with that six of cups. You feel like I can't be happy if, if I'm in this situation, I can't be help, happy. Or, you know, if I'm in this union, this, this will never thrive. I feel like if that's the case, what are we still doing in it for one? And if it's not the case, if it's a fear or if it's a conditioning, we have to take responsibility of not self-sabotaging. How do we heal that piece? Because you could be prolonging a dream. So let go of the fears. Let go of the doubts that are tied to this dream because it's here for you. You have this new beginning. Your future self wants you to know that things are coming into balance here. That you can have this dream. That you are a big deal. That you can own it. Now... What do we need to give yourself credit for? Page of Pentacles. There you are, Earth Element. Give yourself credit for your hard work, for investing in yourself, for learning new skills, for training, for hitting your goals, for being practical, for reflecting on your commitments, for considering taking a new path, for considering alternative ways of doing things. Give yourself credit for being in this page of pentacles. Sometimes this is going back to the drawing board and saying, where are my investments? What am I committing to? Does it still feel good to me? Is this still part of my soul's path? Do I need to detour? Do I need to shift things up to fully align and, and be happy to be able to achieve this dream that I have for myself? And I feel like, you don't give yourself enough pats on the back, Capricorn, for all that you've done, all that you are, how far you've come on your journey. Now, what's the potential here to manifest, to become? You have the temperance. The temperance is Sag energy. Now, again, this is showing up November, December, and this is, I've, I've been feeling November for you guys for a long time. Okay, a long time, probably for the last couple of, uh, last year at least, I've been feeling like November is a really big month. So your future self is here saying it's happening now. Something is being restored now that you're going to see, I feel, by Sagittarian season. It's something that has been a long time coming. The temperance is patience. It is self-control. It is balance. And it is giving yourself that sweet, tender, loving care that you deserve. It's represented by Auntie M here in the garden. She's watering her garden. And you know that gardens cannot be rushed. We cannot make the tomato plants grow quicker than they are meant to grow. We cannot make the, the rain come from the clouds. Well, I mean, weather manipulation is a totally different thing. But you know what I mean here. This is about timing the timing of things. This can be about some of you. Some of you feel like you're too old for a dream. That is BS. Okay. Some of you feel like you've been watering and tending to the garden. And if that's the, the lie or the story that you're telling yourself is, Mel, I've just accepted that this is my path, uh, that I'm going to be alone or I'm going to A, B or C, whatever it is. I mean, if you're happy with that, then I'm happy for you. But a lot of you, I feel like there's something bigger 
there is something more profound here that you haven't even seen or tapped into quite yet, at least not on the physical. You have on the spiritual, the energetic. I feel like you know you're curious about this. It's your curiosities leading you. That's why Alice goes down the rabbit hole because she is curious. And I feel like you are meant to discover something deep within you that's been hidden maybe ever since childhood. It may be a childhood dream. It could be longing to express yourself in some way that you feel like you haven't been able to do. And I do see here you feeling worthy, feeling amazing, feeling free. Even if your body has been changing because you do have the body love card and the biggest color and how interesting, look at the color of the light right behind that was the same color here. This is the root chakra. Some of you may feel like you don't have the, the stamina or energy. You may have had hip, something with the hips, the knees, the ankles, the feet, the toes, the legs. I'm getting a uh, vascular. Maybe this has to do with like varicose veins or... Um, Paying attention to the, the circulation in the legs, all right, for some of you. Or maybe it's slowing down a bit. Maybe you've been on the go like the Energizer Bunny and you just need to kind of put your legs up and relax and chill. And last but not least here, we have Honor Your Feelings. So again, another card around feelings. And I'm just looking here. What do we need to spend less time on and more time on? You have the feelings cards right here. Uh, and I feel like, and the Nine of Cups, and the Two of Cups. Okay, so we are looking at feelings a bit, but it says, how have you been feeling? Are you telling yourself you should or you shouldn't be feeling a certain way? That's what we get caught up in, right? With that Six of Cups, we feel like, oh, I should be doing that for someone else. I should be taking care of them. And and remember what I said, you feel like you you should or you owe it to them, or maybe it is a responsibility. Maybe you have young children. And oh my gosh, you cannot make this up. This was in a, a, this is at the bottom here and I just pulled it and it says, feelings are like visitors. They come and go. That was the, the incoming message and this is your outcoming message. It says, feelings are like visitors. They come and go. When we hold our feelings in, the energy can get stuck in our body and manifest this physical pain. You have a right to feel how you feel. Honor the feeling. Take a breath and release Allow yourself to be with the emotion you feel. Breathe it. Truly experience it. It will pass. Capricorn, if you want to be entered into the free reading giveaway where I draw one winner around the first month, drop in the comment section below. Today, I feel blank and I honor that. What do you feel today? Be honest. Be real. Be raw. It doesn't have to be awesome or amazing, right? How do you truly feel? feel today and explore those emotions. Drop it in the comment section below. Check out other people's emotions and know that we're not alone, right? We're not alone, even though sometimes it feels very much like we are. Tune into your feelings. They will come and go. That is what I have for you, Capricorn. I hope that resonates. Thank you so much for tuning in today. If you like the reading, please hit that thumbs up button. It certainly helps get the divine channeled messages out there to those that need it most. Thank you so much for tuning in. And also one last thing here, someone please get sh better shoes. Please get some new shoes. You may have um, a heel that breaks on a shoe or some of you need to enter Enter one of those Dr. Shoals or something into the padding of your feet because there's something here with the feet showing up for you, Capricorn. Again, thank you so much for tuning in. Lots of love.